the zone valve was not turning on, so what I did is I went on eBay, it cost me $22.50, I ordered a new motor for the zone valve. Zone valve came less than a week later, probably about four days later. I took off the cover, I turned the heat all the way down in that room so this thermostat, so the zone valve would be off, and I did not have to worry about it turning back on when I put the new motor in. I ended up taking out these connectors, I replaced the motor, so I put the new motor in there, and then I went inside, I turned the thermostat up, and again, nothing happened, so I figured it must not be the motor. So I figured, well, at least I have a replacement motor, so when it's 40 below, if something happens with one of these motors, I'm set in the dead of winter. So that's not a bad thing, I kept that motor. Next thing I did is I removed this cover. I knew this zone valve was working. I went inside, I turned this thermostat all the way down so that this system would not turn on. So both of these have the system turned all the way down and I don't have to worry about them coming on. Next what I did is I took off this motor and I knew it was working. I took this motor off and I took this motor off and I switched the motors. I knew this motor was working, I put it in here. This motor I was still unsure about and I put it in the other system. Tighten it back down, tighten this one back down so the wires were good. Went inside and I turned the thermostats up. This thermostat with the new motor kicked back on, no issues. It turned on and started working just fine. So right off the bat I knew that was not a motor issue. This system, same problem, did not turn on. So still have a work, I know I have a working motor in here. System's not turning on. So I have to figure out what's going on next. So I Remove this motor. After I remove this motor, you will see in here on this one, there's an end switch in here. So the end switch allows power to come through back and forth off and on. So I thought maybe there was an end switch issue. So I removed the tabs that are connected to the end switch and I put my multimeter on it and I tested the end switch. End switch was working. So now I know that the end switch is working, the motor is working, I'm figuring it must be from the wiring. I removed these caps on here, I used my multimeter again, and I tested the wiring to make sure that there was power coming up to this motor, and there was. So I knew that this was getting electricity when it needed it. So from here I figured that it was not an issue here, and that it had to be a thermostat issue. So I'll go inside to go over what I did there. Next, believing it was my thermostat, I turned the thermostat all the way down to make sure the system would not turn on. Now it is switched off. I know the system is off. I took this cover off of this thermostat and I went into another room and switched that with another thermostat. Next, I turned this thermostat all the way down. It clicked over. The system turned off. I took the thermostat cover off. Switched on the other thermostat. Make sure that both of them are set below the room temperature of both rooms. And then I turn this thermostat up. When that was on, I turned the thermostat up. It clicked over. I went outside and I checked my zone valve and the zone valve turned on. Which means this control panel, which I thought was not working, is actually working. So I turned this system back down, made sure it disengaged, that the zone valve was actually off. It's clicked over. I heard the system shut off, and I removed this cover. So what I have is the cover that I thought was not working, and a cover which I know was working. So I reinstalled this cover back onto the system, and I turned this one back up to the setting that I want it at, and I do not have to worry about this one anymore. The next thing I did after realizing that it was not the thermostat is I checked these screws to make sure they were tight. But I went in, and this second screw here was indeed very loose. It was not tightening down at all. I believe it was stripped. So what I did is I removed this screw, which didn't have anything, and I switched these two screws. When I placed the screw in here and I tightened it down, it was able to tighten up. I made sure all of these were tight and that I was getting the proper connection. After doing that, I put my thermostat cover back on. I turned my thermostat back up to see if that was allowing the system to engage. 
and then I went out and I checked my zone valve. When I came outside, the zone valve was now on, and the thermostat was engaging the zone valve, and the system was turning on. Last to check the system, I came back in and I turned my thermostat down below room temperature and I went back out into the garage to make sure that the zone valve was shutting off. And I came back out to the zone valve. It is now off. I have to manually push it. You can actually feel the resistance. So I know this is now off and that was my problem. Is that one simple screw was not tightened down and it was not allowing power to come out to my zone valve. And that was the series of checks I did to eliminate having to call a repairman.